Okay guys, welcome back to Stainless Steel, where we're playing as the Kingdom of Poland. That's right, we're on a crusade against um, the pagans. Alright, Lithuanians don't get upset. That's what you call it in-game. That is your religion. Uh, in 1125 AD, when did uh, Lithuania convert to Christianity? Anyone know? Off your top of your head, while googling it, I obviously do not. Now, of course, in um, Total War Kingdoms, you can convert. You can convert at least once from pagan to Christianity. I don't know if you can convert back. Um, but as we just saw, the Hungarians took your capital, so we don't need to. Now we're going to be paying a lot of money for those. Barely breaking even, but we're going to disband them. Good. We're going to kill them all off. That's the only semi-decent unit. Alright, four spears, two skirmishers and a cavalry. Let's go in. Might be able to claim this one. Yes, noble and valiant knights. Just what England needs right now. Those are going to be charging down the hill. I never use wedge formation. Anyone else use it? I mean, I tried it when the game first came out. Was it back in 2006? Wasn't it? And uh, just never really cared for it. You don't have stakes? No, none of them have stakes. That's okay. More the merrier. We want them to bring them in, even though it's foggy. Now they are up on the hill, though, aren't they? And well, it is a pretty steep hill. Yeah, they're not going to want to come off of there, probably. Oh, now it's snowing. Well, I mean, that's a really steep hill. Speed it all up. Uh, didn't we have a battle where we were fighting in the snow before? And in the trees. Okay, now they're coming forwards. Can't see much of what's going on. Right, the ballista's firing, and it doesn't have that great a range. I think you charge into the, well, the right one. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like you in range? Yes, you are. You've bumped into some spearmen. It's unfortunate. They just routed completely. Oh, wow, they took a beating though, didn't they? Almost wiped out and there at gold chevrons. That'd be a shame. Only half 
Anyone else out there? Hard to see what's going on. It's really hard to tell what's going on. Oh no, stay away. I cannot see a blasted thing out here. Who is even in there? You. Yeah, even my general can't find them. Looks like you're right on top of them. Ah, there's a unit. A whole unit. You gonna get him? Alright, he's got those. Maybe the snow will clear out. I was going to disband those in any case. Mercenaries aren't too bad in this mod as far as cost. Like some mods I virtually never use mercenaries unless I'm completely desperate but this ain't one of them I think they're getting worn down yep now it's cleared out I don't know where they're going Right. Looks like they just decided to go into melee against them. Sure hope we get some replenishment. Can't retrain him, but he's at three gold. Uh, we should be able to walk straight into that settlement. Is he going to get wiped out? Gain one experience. Only inflicted eight casualties. Only two men. I think he's going to get wiped out. Nope. Nope, oh, they didn't get wiped out. God be with us, men. March to battle. Strength and honor. Not happy, are they? Victorious. A noble way to play. It's unfortunate. Victory. Hmm. 
Right. Well, they can be retrained, but are we going to need them? We've got our allies right next to us. The Holy Roman Empire just disappeared. No idea where they went. We only got 207 florins out of that. Pathetic. Now, nope. get up into Iberia. Right, I want to be able to upgrade them. Right, can get more artillery. Resistance is futile. Yes. Moving quietly. Holy Roman Empire does start out with quite a bit of territory though. Now we are supposed to wipe out Lithuania, but I expect I get wiped out by somebody else at some point. I just remembered, you can actually recruit generals in this mod, can't you? But you've really got to build up your barracks um, in a castle. Pretty much you'll need a citadel, right? In fact, it comes from the citadel building, doesn't it? The citadel upgrade. They don't actually come from a, a, a barracks. Yep, good, good. Right, now that mission is in Belarus, 20%. Right, who can we send over there? God save. It's not particularly good, but... It's 83% there. Now I'm going to get the priests from here, trying to specialise in them. Ah, blast. Oh good, we can get a port. Now that will give us another diplomat, and that'll be next. Okay, we have to decide where to go next. There's a settlement there. Riga, capital of Estonia, isn't it? See the Cumans there, but they're at war Hungary and Kiev. Almost looks like that's rebel territory, because it looks like a grey border. Yeah, looks like the Danes and the Germans are fighting. Good. All right, maybe we do go and wipe out the Lithuanians first then.
No, we'll accept. Is he in there? I think he's in. Yeah, that's Lithuanian territory. But having him go up to the settlement would be nice. You got promoted even though you're exiled. Oh, I got a spy in there. Well, I didn't realise, mate. Only ten percent. Ah, they got a big force there. That's their new capital. Is that modern day Minsk? Go on, get into Iberia. We have two priests. Yeah. All right. So we've got extra troops. Now that is a town. And that's a town. Not too many good castles though on this side of the map, is there? Now where do we get the other general? Where did he pop up? Right there. Okay. That almost reached him. He's about to cross over. Still a lot of things out there, and we are at war with them still. The Turks are probably the easiest faction in vanilla, probably. It's hard to lose them. Especially if you spam out horse archers from the beginning. Somebody died. Maybe a spy. Ah, there's the King of Portugal. Right. Orders, my king. Combining troops. God sent. He's at eleven percent. We got quite a few turns to go. Might not be able to get them retrained, should merge them.
just leave them in there I think we're gonna be able to build up enough to go after Riga guess we'll give you the artillery as well yeah, plus mercenaries uh, rebels uh. Peasant infantry, trash units, and they beat them. Everyone's constructing. You can construct. Good. So we need nine more percent in eleven turns. Hopefully we can do it. Might even have to send that second one up into the Belarus. Ah, oh, you want peace? Oh, <laughs> seriously? Yes, it is. Uh, you've been excommunicated and you're in multiple wars and you're demanding I become your vassal. Hmm. What do you know that I don't know? Oh. It's now 15%. Oh, that went up 4%. That's a pretty rapid increase. Files, files, any of this affects me. Nope. At least not directly. Alright, he didn't lose anyone. No, not particularly good units in the army, apart from those ones. But head on up. It'll take us a long time to get that one up to upgrade. Can I help, my uh, let's go see the king of... Oh, Portugal has that one. I can do for you, we accept Another suggestion from your leader for us? Accepted. There is something else you would suggest to us. Right. I think we were already getting one of those, weren't we? Yep, we can get a second diplomat from there. Let's get that port in. We can get some trade by sea. It's already going to our fishing village. Alright, we'll end it there.